got some ice last night and it's really cold but if you guys watched the video yesterday we had a sick great Pyrenees and I had a lot of you guys comment on that video telling me to try some sliced cheese instead of the hot dogs I was using to hide the pills in so that's what I'm out here doing as you can see in the footage I put the first of this video bears doing a lot better even out here in this frigid temperatures he's out running around and being himself so he's already feeling a lot better but I gotta get these antibiotics in him so let's try the cheese I got one pill on this piece of cheese. Here you go, bear. And he ate it. It didn't drop the pill. So for those of you that told me to use the cheese, thank you. Let's let's try the rest of these here. Hold on, bear. Come here, buddy. You want some cheese? I'm gonna put all five of these pills in here. I don't know if I showed you guys how big these pills were yesterday. This is the antibiotic he's taking. You can see that. All right, all five pills and one slice of cheese. Let's try it. Here you go. And also got a hot dog. Here, bro. Brought the hot dog just in case the cheese didn't work, but the cheese worked. All the pills are down. So thank you guys. And you can see that he is acting tons better. And the vet did call back yesterday evening and the blood test did not come back yet. So we're going to have to wait till tomorrow to know for sure what the blood test tells us on his diagnosis. But we're happy he's back to himself. He's feeling lots better. On any other day when it's this cold, his joints, his body ached so bad he would just sleep in the barn with the goats, just lay around in the straw all day. But you can, in the earlier footage I put on this video, you seen him running around out here in the snow. It's 24 degrees. He, he's feeling way better, which we're really glad, aren't we, Bear? All right, so I'm gonna give him a little uh, warm snack this morning. Get his body temperature up. I'm gonna go inside and uh, get some eggs scrambled up. Give him some canned dog food. All right, guys, I'm walking out here with the feed bucket. Let's see how long it takes the goats to realize it. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right guys, so I got a little concoction of warm food for bear. I scrambled up like a dozen eggs, add a little dry food and a can of wet food, just to get him a little good protein breakfast this morning. Come here bear, see what you think about this. Smells disgusting, but it's got a lot of good stuff in it. What do you think about that, buddy? So we have an under, so we have a overabundance of eggs usually from all the chickens, and we have a bunch of banny eggs, and we usually take the banny eggs and scramble them up, and we got extra right now so why not feed the dogs in this cold weather they really enjoy it all right i'm gonna go feed the turkeys while bear's enjoying his little meal get in here for the turkeys So I've been feeding these turkeys a egg layer ration, a higher protein laying feed, because it's almost time for them to start laying eggs. But today I mixed in a little of the three-way goat feed. It's got the corn in it, so they really like that. They'll eat a little more when you add the corn, it seems like. Just help them stay warm in these frigid temperatures. Hey guys, so you guys can see Bear is doing wonderful compared to where he was, and can't thank you guys enough for all the prayers and the comments. Our family really appreciates all that. And if you guys got goats and livestock, you know how important these dogs are to your family and your livelihood. So we try to do the best we can to take care of them and see to their needs and their health. But once again, thank you guys for all the prayers and concerns and comments. Keep them coming, guys. Alright guys, I'm going to go feed Daisy her eggs now. Uh, before I forget, I want to let you guys know about a giveaway that my friends over at Bumblebee Junction here on YouTube, they're doing a uh, $200 cast iron giveaway. They're about to hit 10,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Uh, Mark and Tina at Bumblebee Junction, man, they have one of the greatest gardening channels that I have seen on YouTube. Their raised beds are so awesome that here at Hidden Heights Farm we're gonna try to copy off kind of what they're doing. I've learned so much from watching their channels from canning to every type of vegetable you can plant in the ground. I mean they have awesome harvest results as well and they talk you through everything, tell you about the soil, you know everything you need to know about gardening. Go check their channel out. They're about to hit 10,000 subscribers is the reason they're doing this awesome giveaway. $200 in cast iron man that's that's awesome so i will put a link down below to their channel it is uh bumblebee junction go check them out follow the rules on their uh contest so you guys might get a chance to win subscribe to their channel and follow them and you guys will learn a lot i promise you they do awesome things over there Great. 
Guys, since we got Daisy fixed and let her off the leash, she has done awesome. Uh, she hasn't tried to get out one time that we have seen anyways. And if she did, she probably got hit by the electric fence, so that probably worked. So one of the things we did so far has worked, and we are very thankful. Just like I was talking about Bear over there on that side with the goats, he's very vital to our family for the protection of our livestock. And over here with Daisy, just the same. She's an awesome dog. Uh, she's very aggressive towards other dogs and coyotes or any birds like hawks or eagles that come close. You know, she's very protective. So thank you guys for everyone that said that we should get her fixed, this and that, and that's been giving us all the tips. You know, we try to do our best at this homesteading and farming life, but there's always someone out there that's been through the situation that you're struggling with or need help with. That's why the comments are so important to us then that that's why i keep making these videos just to interact with you guys and i learn things from you guys just as much as you learn from me so thank you guys there's skeet then you got skeeter what would we do without him skeeter. ready The ball. The ball. Boy. Yes, he pulled the hole in his mouth today. All right, guys. That's all I got for today. I'm not gonna stay out here too much longer. I'm gonna come out very often and check on these animals back and forth to make sure their water's staying thawed out and such. But once again, now we know. From all the comments you guys gave me, a lot of you guys said to try the American slices of cheese to get the dogs to swallow the pills, and guess what? It worked awesome. Uh, didn't lose one pill on the ground this time. It even worked better than the hot dogs, I gotta say. That was my trick, but thank you guys again for telling us that advice. Uh, all the advice you give me, we try to take it in and try it out at least, and you know. Nobody knows all the perfect ways, so share your ideas. That's the way to do it. And thank you guys for watching this video. Check out the other videos on my channel. If you have not done so, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video, guys.